Hey guys, welcome to vlog, not vlog, not vlogmas, vlogoween day 17. Um, today I'm going to be telling you guys a little story time, um, about, um, I like to call the story Girl in Gym Class, even though it's kind of a weird title, but it is what it is, we're gonna roll with it. Um, now I've told people this story before. And I've had people tell me, no, I don't believe it for a second. That never actually happened to you. It did. And the reason I remember it so vividly is because I've had my fair share of paranormal experiences before. Um, but this kind of stands out to me as probably the creepiest thing that's happened to me. And you guys will see exactly why when I tell you the story. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. I have it all rolled up. Because, um, before, I, there were a couple YouTubers that I liked that posted a video, um, and at the end of the video they would say, like, um, I'm gonna read some of my subscribers' story, like, paranormal story times, paranormal experiences. So if you have any paranormal experiences that happen to you, email them to me. So, this was one of the stories that I emailed to, I think, Graveyard Girl, I think? Graveyard Girl or Jessie B, because I know both, both of them did those types of videos where they read their subscribers paranormal story times or paranormal experiences so i did send one of i did send this story to one of them and so i went back into my email and i literally copy and pasted it the entire story word for word so i can read it off of my phone so i'm just going to jump right into it again if you don't believe me you don't have to because i've had people tell me that this that didn't actually happen and they don't believe me again you don't have to believe me, but this did happen, and I'm telling you guys word for word exactly what happened. So, this is a sto true story for when I was in grade 8. I was in gym class, and I was hanging out with one of my best friends. In the gym, there was always a ping pong set on the stage, so my friend and I decided to play ping pong considering there was no one using it. So, we started playing ping pong, and we lost the ball on my friend's side. Next to my friend, there was also a ramp that leads to a little storage room, and there were no doors to it either. When we lost the ball, it went down that ramp. My friend went to get the ball, and it was literally pitch black down there. Um, I went down to find the ball, and I heard something. I wasn't sure what it was. I told my friend, and she decided to go down there, too. She got down to the bottom and looked, too, uh, looked around the corner. She then ran back up the ramp and told me that there was somebody down there. I looked down the ramp, and I could see a pair of eyes staring back at me. Now, when I tell people the story, like I said, a lot of people try to find... A lot of people find it hard to believe this actually happened, but it did. But... At the end of the story is usually where people start to think, no, this is bullshit. This didn't actually happen, but it did happen. And I remember it pretty vividly only because this is probably the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me. But moving on. Um, so I looked down the ramp and I could see a pair of eyes staring back at me. So my friend and I got off the stage and played volleyball. Loved playing volleyball, by the way, in gym class. About 10 minutes before class ended, my friend and I went to the girl's bathroom so she could use the bathroom. I went. I waited on the bench by the door, and when she was finished, we both lined up by the gym doors and waited for the bell to ring. As we were waiting, I looked up at the stage by the ramp, and I saw a girl who looked to be about 8 or 9 years old um, in a white dress. Just the classic. When, you're, when you think of a paranormal story time, and when you're telling a paranormal story, or talking about your paranormal experiences, usually when people think about paranormal experiences... When they say, oh, I saw a girl, then a lot of people, like, if you're telling a paranormal story and you say, oh, I saw a girl, some people would, obviously, my first thought would be a girl in a white dress, black hair, hair down like this over her face. That's what I always think about. Like, kind of like the ring type character. But, yeah, that that is what I saw um, at the end of gym class that day. Um... She had her face down and I could barely move, so I tapped my friend on the shoulder and I looked, told her to look at the stage while I was still looking at the stage. When I, when my friend looked at the stage, the girl slowly raised her hand, raised her head, and I saw that she had the ball in her hand. She then slowly walked towards the, the ping pong table and laid the ball in the middle of it. She then looked at me and my friend and gave us kind of a sinister-ish smile, and she slowly put her head down and walked down the ramp. There's that. Now, like I said, you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. Um, again, you guys don't have to believe me if you don't want to. That's up to you. But that is definitely, easily, the creepiest thing that happened to me. Um, 
that, like, that even beats, like, when it comes to creepiest things that, that's happened to me, that even beats that whole moment where I was home alone filming the video. I came downstairs while the lights were on, and I went back stairs while the, and the lights were off. You got, I, I told that story a couple days ago on here, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have, I have mentioned it anyway on here, but, yeah. That even beats it. That whole girl in gym class story time beats that. And even that was one of the scariest things, creepiest things that happened to me. Because I was literally home alone. I came downstairs while the lights were on. I went back upstairs. They were off. I was home alone. There was nobody upstairs to turn off the lights or turn them on. So. But yeah. That is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogoween Day 18. Bye guys.